Hi, welcome back to our section about how to solve proportion problems. In this section, we basically are going to learn how to set up proportion problems and how to solve them. The first thing we need to know is that on the left side, we always need to write down what's given. And on the other side, we need to write down what you're looking for. Let's do an example. So let's say that we have a problem like this one. Vanessa can eat four candies every hour. I can probably do better than that, but at this rate, how many candies can she eat in five hours? First, I need to identify what is given. Well, the problem tells me that Vanessa can eat four candies every hour. Immediately, I know that I have a proportion here. Then at this rate, how many candies can she, can she eat in five hours? Okay, so how do I do this? First, I need to remember that I have to put what's given on the left and what I'm looking for on the right. So I know that four candies every hour. Now on the other side, I need to put how many candies can she eat in five hours? Well, remember, hours go with hours, and candies go with candies. So candies here have to go with candies here. Hours here has to go with hours here. Now that I have set up the proportion, I can go ahead and cross multiply. And I do one times x, four times five. Finally, four times five is equal to 20. That means that Vanessa can eat 20 candies in five hours. Okay, so now we have this problem. On a map, three inches is 10 miles. How many miles do 135 inches represent? Immediately, I need to remember what I have and what is given. I'm sorry, and what I'm looking for. So now that I understand this, let's go ahead and set up the problem. They're telling me that for every three inches, that is 10 miles on the map. Also, they wanna know how many miles do 135 inches represent on the map? Remember, you have to put inches with inches and miles with miles. It's very important that you respect the properties of the proportion. You could have put 10 miles on the top and three inches on the bottom. But if you would have done that, then the X will be on top and the 135 inches will be on the bottom. What that means is that no matter how you set up the first part of the equation, you need to make sure you respect your unit. Now I can go ahead and cross multiply 10 times 135 and then three times X. Finally, I can go ahead and divide both sides by three. And my answer is going to be 450. Well, there are 450 miles in 135 inches. This is in this map of the problem that we just solved. Perfect, let's do something a little bit more complicated. Luli can read 15 pages in two hours. How many pages can she read in 80 minutes? Well, here the problem is a little bit different because as you can see, they're giving me something in hours and then they're asking me something in minutes. So let's see how we do this. First, I need to set it up, 15 pages every two hours. Now the question is, how many pages can only read in 80 minutes? Now, remember, I cannot put hours with minutes. Well, how do I do this? I remember that one hour is 60 minutes. So now that I know that, I know that in two hours, actually I have 120 minutes. That's why I multiplied two times 60. That way, I'm gonna have minutes with minutes, pages with pages. Now I know that this is two times 60. Let's just go back really quick. This is two times 60 times X, and then 80 times 15. Finally, and then I'm gonna go ahead and divide both sides by, one by 20, and I get that X is equals to 10 pages. That means that Luli can read 10 pages in 80 minutes. It was very easy. Let's go ahead and try one more, but this time it's your turn. Okay, 
So let's say they give you this problem. A machine can print 35 pages per minute. After four hours, how many pages were printed? You tell me what is given, and I'm gonna wait for your answer. I hope you tell me that what's given is 35 pages per minute. So immediately, I need to figure it out what I need. Well, remember, they're telling me after four hours, how many pages were printed? Beautiful. How do I set up this problem? Well, first, I know that every minute the machine prints 35 pages. And then after four hours, how many pages were printed? Now, this is the same if I would have set up the problem like this. 35 over one is equals two. Again, pages with pages and hours with hours. And this is four hours. However, I can see here that I have minutes in one side and hours on the other side. Since I cannot do it like this, I need to remember that in one hour, there are actually 60 minutes. Therefore, I can go ahead and say that in four hours, there are 240 minutes. Now what I can do is to go ahead and replace. I still have 35 over one, but now I'm gonna go ahead and say, instead of four hours, I'm going to say 240 minutes. Now it's very easy because the only thing I need to do is just to cross multiply. Now that I cross multiply, I get that 35 times 240 is equals to 8,400 pages. I hope you learned a lot in this lesson and I'll see you next time. Have a good day, and again,